Okay, hi guys, Jackie M here, and today is a banana day. And before I go on any further, I just need to point out that my live broadcasts are supported by Lenovo, who provide all the hardware for me to be able to bring this to you. And also, I want to thank uh, Sunbeam Appliances, who are supporting the Summer Fruit Festival by supplying all the appliances that we're using for our cooking demonstrations. But on this platter, there are actually five different varieties of bananas. Uh, fried bananas I used to sell at my restaurant. I basically um, used to use these large bananas and then cut them into quarters. So I'll cut them in half and then uh, sideways and then half again. So out of each banana, I'll get four pieces, right? But in Malaysia, uh, we used to use smaller bananas, something similar to this. And the smaller bananas are really sweet. If you Google how to make uh, fried bananas, you're going to find a whole variety of recipes. And the, the one that I used for my restaurant was something that I completely kind of like just uh, experimented and tweaked to my own preference. But you can find very basic fried banana recipes that essentially consist of just plain flour and water or self-raising flour and water. My one, I use rice flour, a mix of rice flour and plain flour and some baking powder in it as well to help it kind of like uh, uh, expand a little bit. So I've got plain flour and usually I'll have like equal amounts of plain flour and rice flour. I'm just going to put some uh, baking powder in here, right? Um, the Because I'm using uh, sweeter bananas, I'm going to put a lot less sugar in it. And you're going to find, especially if you find uh, fried banana recipes that are uh, from blogs and or websites uh, that are based in Malaysia, usually they, you know, practically have no sugar in their, in their batter. So you can leave it out. Um, now I'm just going to add a touch of salt to this. Always, uh, you know, when you're doing dessert, Malaysian style, you always add a pinch of salt to kind of like counter the, it actually enhances the sweetness in um, your dessert. And sugar, look, I'm just going to put, you know, a token, two tablespoons maybe. I used to actually put desiccated coconut in the batter, but I'm going to leave it out today because that is in fact a little bit unconventional. You don't usually see desiccated coconut in a, in a Malaysian fried banana recipe. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of water in here. And let's just start mixing it and see how it turns out. Okay, let's see what this is right now. It's probably more like it. Now, I've just got, I'm just going to use the smaller bananas. I'm just going to cut it in half lengthwise like this. Okay, and just throw it in the batter. If you're using a deep fryer, you would want the temperature to be about 180 degrees or so. I'm not, so I'm just completely winging it. If you throw in something where the oil is too hot, it's gonna burn up very quickly and then you're gonna take it out, let the oil cool down and then and then try again, right? But usually the way you would tell if the oil is ready is by just dropping like a little bit of batter in there and if it floats up, you know it's ready. And if you find that they, you know, if the, if, if the batter sort of like starts to kind of like separate and, 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 and um, you know, turn into like little crumbs, you know you need to add more flour in your mixture, okay? So let's try this. Okay, so this is frying up quite nicely, and you want it to be like a light uh, golden brown color. I'll just hold up and show you what it looks like. Okay, if you can see this. If you fry it for too long, they're going to start splitting, and you don't want that to happen. So, um, stick your eyes, right? I made it the other day, and I've got some left over, and I've just heated it up in the microwave. All right, this is you, and you can see it. And the way I made it was basically, I didn't bother soaking it. I stuck it in a steamer basket and uh, cooked it in my thermo cook. But um, basically it's as though you were steaming it. But I stuck enough water so that the water was splashing onto it as well, sort of thing, and that just sped up the cooking process. Um, if you're using sticky rice for desserts and you don't care to have the rice like loose and like all separate, 
than just boiling it or cooking it in a steamer the way I did um, would just speed up the process a lot. You know, if you're, um, if you're using it for a savory meal where you want the rice to be all nicely uh, separate, uh, then you would want to soak it for a few hours. But in this case, no, you didn't. Yeah, you don't have to do it. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, bananas um, in a coconut sauce, coconut and palm sugar sauce. And I just want to show you what Malaysian palm sugar looks like, right? I know that it's being a little bit exotic, like I said, you know, in this particular series, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible so you don't have to make a special trip to your Asian grocery store to buy these. But this is Malaysian palm sugar, okay, called uh, Gula Jawa or uh, Gula Malaka, or, uh, you know, it can be called uh, Gula Aren as well in Indonesia. Uh, look for it in your Asian grocery store. If you can't find it, it's very similar to... Um, Demerara sugar. Okay, so you can use Demerara, the, the soft uh, brown sugar. You can just use, you know, um, yeah, regular sugar if you want. It just won't have that nice aesthetic. And this has a nice uh, coconut, coconutty uh, tone, undertone to it as well. So I'm just heating this up. I'm just going to turn it down because it's on max at the moment. So all I'm doing is just heating up some coconut cream. I'm just going to add a bit of water because of the heat. And I'm going to throw some of this uh, palm sugar in it as well. So I've got the palm sugar and usually you would just kind of like uh, shave it down. And I'm putting a little bit in here. And let's just use this to mix it through. And it'll give a very uh, nice brown hue to your syrup. So it's just melting nicely. I'm just going to turn it back up a little bit. And this is great if you've got bananas that aren't quite sweet or aren't quite ripe enough, right? So I'm going to use the big one. You can add a pinch of uh, salt in your mixture as well. Okay. Turn it back down a bit. With this, you want to just simmer it. Just let me taste test a bit. Okay. And usually this palm sugar is actually even, it's quite intense looking, but in terms of sweetness level, it's generally considered to be less sweet than regular quite refined sugar. So you might find Malaysian recipes that actually require you to combine both um, the palm sugar and some white sugar as well. So like I mentioned, uh, if you want to catch up on my other videos, they're slowly being uploaded to YouTube, which is youtube.com slash Jackie M. Okay, so this is coconutty and um, covered with palm sugar syrup. And of course, again, if you want, you can uh, stick a scoop of ice cream onto this. So this is what it looks like. You can see that. So thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you later.